Block up the F in. It's a December edition, and I can't believe the holidays are almost here. I was supposed to wear this hat. By who, Jackson? Doesn't matter. Now it's with five facts about Christmas. Hello, Falcons. Welcome back to F and N. Today I'm going to give you some facts about Christmas. Did you know that the word Christmas originates from the word Christ's Mass? In Old English, it was referred to as Christus Mass, which literally means Christian Mass. A lot of people have a stocking tradition, but what they don't know is where it came from. It originated as a Dutch custom. They would leave shoes full of food for St. Nicholas, and St. Nicholas, in return, would leave small gifts. The tradition of Christmas caroling began as an Old English custom. It was originally called waysailing and was a toast to a long life. In Germany, they call Santa Chris Krinkle. In Italy, they call him La Bafana. In France, they call him Pere Noel. The world's largest snowman was 113 feet tall and was built in Maine. Thank you for listening. Now on to Hayden and Jackson. Wow, those are some interesting facts about Christmas. Yes, they were. Have you ever seen the Nutcracker? No, I wonder what history of it is. Well, let's hear all about it from Garrett and Kelly. Hey, Falcons. I'm Kelly. And I'm Garrett. And today we are excited to present to you the history of the Nutcracker. According to Britannica, the story of the Nutcracker is slightly based on the E.T.A. Hoffman fantasy story, The Nutcracker and the Mouse King, which is about a young girl who meets a Nutcracker that comes alive on Christmas Eve, and they fight off the evil Mouse King. But Hoffman's story was actually a very dark story, and luckily an Imperial Russian ballet choreographer named Marius Petipa chose to make a much lighter story. A man named Tchaikovsky then began to help Marius. In February 1891, while he was on a, an American tour, he felt he found a new instrument called the Celestia that made a high-pitched bell noise that was perfect for the Nutcracker and its fairy tale theme. Tchaikovsky and Marius decided that the Celestia was going to be the voice of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Finally, the Nutcracker was presented at State Pittsburgh's Marion Sky Theater. Tchaikovsky even said himself that the play was boring and even went as far as to say infinitely worse than Sleeping Beauty. The play ended up turning out a disaster since Patipa fell sick and wasn't there to finish the play. Tchaikovsky was then bashed in many newspapers and passed away before he could see the play succeed. Even if the past play was disliked, the play is now the most used performance. Now to Jackson and Hayden. Those are some pretty interesting facts about the Nutcracker. I want to go see it now. Me too. Now to a Santa skit with some of our other crew. Welcome to our version of Santa, Mrs. Claus, and the Elves. Oh my god, where are our presents? Oh buddy, there's got to be an explanation for this. You're right, we need to find Santa. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Hey yourself, we didn't get our presents and we want to know why. The thing is, we actually don't know. Wait, you're saying there's elves, how do you not know where they're at? Look, Santa's made us promise not to tell. So, we'll ask Rudolph. He'll tell you. Okay. Where's Rudolph? Rudolph's in the stables with all the other reindeer. Alright, let's go to the stables. Right. Wow. Ugh. I didn't know reindeer smelled so bad. <coughs> <coughs> yep. What do you want? Look, we just want to know where Santa is. Then why should I tell you? Didn't Santa leave the sleigh three years in a row now? I mean, I could convince Santa to give you a promotion. Okay, Santa had an argument with Mrs. Claus, and she basically dumped him. Wait, that's why we didn't get presents? Because of an upset Santa. Alright, I've had it. Rudolph, you get Mrs. Claus, me and James, let's go find Santa. Alright. Who's there? Santa? Go, go away. Look, we want to know where our presents are. Okay, why am I here? Uh, oh yeah. I, I know we couldn't agree on Rudolph's Christmas outfit, but, like, you don't got to get mad, bro. My outfit was great. You just wanted one of your hats on. I'm kind of sentimental about my hats. Enough. Where are our presents, Santa? You'll have to wait till next. Back to work. <laughs> All right. 
Well, that was an interesting skit about Christmas. Why was I Rudolph? Anyways, now it's the DIY with Tugwell and Noah. I regret being in that skit. I know you do. Hey guys, I'm Tugboat and this is Noah, and today we're going to be teaching you how to make a snowman. This is everything you will need. You will need a cup of rice, curling ribbon, colored cotton balls, hot glue, buttons, two googly eyes, these, and some ribbon. You will need a sock. You take your sock. Cut right along the heel. <laughs> Once you do that, you will take the other end of the sock for your hat and you will cut you won't need that. We'll make a piece that big for the hat. Okay. Step two, the most easiest part, is getting your cup of rice, putting the sock over the top, like so, Do I do that? and then just flipping it over. This is easier if you have, like, a partner, which is you just hold it. Can you hold that real quick? Hold that. Tie the top off which then you will cut the excess off and it will look like the top and you cut everything else off like this part and then you put one straight in the middle or two-thirds of the way up if you would like just depends how you want your snowman like that and it will finally look like this once you tighten it and everything with the hat part you're going to want to do the same thing, like tie the top, which afterwards it's going to look like this, which means you can just throw it on top like that. I don't know if you said that you're going to need a hot glue gun, but you are. You're going to get the hot glue gun. You don't want to put the hot glue on the eyes first. You want to put it on the sock because you can burn your hand way easier if you just put it on the actual Hot glue eyes. Or the googly eyes. Like so. Looking off, you get a orange cotton ball and you cut it and like so a little piece comes off. You do the same exact thing. It looks like a carrot. <laughs> and then finally, or one of the final steps, you get buttons. Doesn't matter what size or what shape. You get three. And you do the same exact thing. Finally, you will have the buttons on. Then you will cut a piece of ribbon, which we have already cut. You can either fold it or you can just trim it down but I like to just fold it. You go around. And then there's your scarf. You can push it down so it looks better. And then finally, you add your hat. Thanks for watching. Now to Hayden and Jackson. Guess you could say that's a pretty sweet DIY. Yeah, are we done yet? Because these candy canes are making me uh, kind of hungry. Yes, yes, we are done. And that's all we have for today. Have a holly jolly December. Squaw! Squaw.